This video addresses the fifth grade math standard of multiplying with multi-digit numbers, specifically multiplying using an area model. Area models are used to break numbers apart in order to make easier mental math. As you can see, I have 47 times 63. What an area model does is it breaks those numbers apart by place value. The 47 gets broken down to 40 and 7. The 63 becomes 60 and 3. Now we simply multiply. The numbers up top go straight down. And the numbers on the side go straight across. The multiplication happens wherever the numbers cross. Simply put, in this first box, it's going to be 60 times 40. Now why this makes this easier is because we're multiplying with zeros. Whenever you multiply with zeros, you can ignore the zeros, multiply, 6 times 4 is 24, and then tack the zeros back on. So 60 times 40 gives me 2,400. If we move down to this box, it's 40 times 3. Well, let's ignore the zero. 4 times 3 is 12. Tack on the zero makes it 120. Over in this box, it's 60 times 7. Well, 6 times 7 is 42. Tack on the zero, that's 420. And last but not least, 3 times 7 is 21. The next thing we do is add up all the numbers inside the boxes. 2,400, 420, 120, and 21. It's a good idea to either cross those out or underline them so that you know that you've used them. 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6. 4 plus 4 is 8 plus 1 more is 9. So we have 2,961. Let's do two more examples. 56 times 73. Well, the first number is 50 and 6. The next number is 70 and 3. Let's make our boxes. In this first box, it's 50 times 70. Well, what's 5 times 7? It's 35. Tack on the two zeros, we get 3,500. Going across, it's 70 times 6. Well, 7 times 6 is 42. Tack on the zero, that's 420. Down below, we have 3 times 50. 3 times 5 is 15. Tack on the zero, it's 150. In the last box, we have 3 times 6, which is 18. 3,500 plus 420 plus 150 plus 18. 3,500, 420, 150, 18. 8, 8, 10, and 4. So the answer is 4,088. But what if there's more than two digits? Well, you still break it down. 451 times 82. 451 is 450 and 1. 82 is 80 and 2. So we need to have two rows, one for the 80 and one for the 2, and three columns for the 400, the 50, and the 1. Well, let's look at this first box. Ignore those zeros. 8 times 4 is 32. Tack on three zeros, we get 32,000. 80 times 50, 8 times 5 is 40. Tack on two zeros, we have 4,000. 80 times 1 is 80. 400 times 2 is 800. 2 times 5 is 10. Tack on the 1. And finally, 2 times 1 is 2. Let's add those up. 32,000, 4,000, 800, 100, 80, and 2. 32,000, 4,000, 800, 100, 80, and 2. We have 2, 8, 9, 6, and 3. 36,982. Okay, some things to remember. One, each number needs to be separated into place values. So if I had 96, that becomes 90 and 6. Or if I had 374, that becomes 370 and 4. Two, Multiply one number from the top with one number from the side for every box. So in this example, we have the 40 and the 60, so that's 60 times 40. Over here we have 
16 and 7. Going down below, we have 40 times 3. And then the last box is 3 times 7. Last but not least, add everything inside the boxes after done multiplying. And that will get you your answer.